I purchased these fragrances so you don't have to. My BFF, hello. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna de-influence you. I will share today three fragrances that are my worst blind buys ever. And they are quite popular. So I wasn't expecting them to smell so bad. If you are curious and you want to stop buying fragrances, in this video, I'm going to convince you that these fragrances are not worth it. The first fragrance is from one of my favorite brands that I have always been talking about in a very nice way because they deserve it. I have Mosque, I have Reflet Sulo Cavango, and I also have Ghibli. Stunning, gorgeous fragrances. And when they announced that they released a new fragrance with Vanilla, I had to get it and I ordered it blindly from their website. It's Orchid K. Ella K. Let me tell you about the experience. <laughs> Poor customer service, the worst I have seen in the niche brands. In general, I think the customer service should be top of the class because it's the first impression and it's the contact you have with the customer so you should treat them nicely of course they don't know that i have a youtube channel <laughs> not that it really matters and i have always been giving my honest opinions so the customer service was bad i had to insist six times ask them where is my package it took two weeks to receive it the official address on the website was in Switzerland and I ordered it from Switzerland but it actually was shipped from Germany and they made me pay VAT in Germany and also import tax in Switzerland which I never like to pay double taxes and it's not fair and as an international shipping company you should do your own research and be an expert in this field and then they also did not include any sample, although on the website they mentioned that they will include one sample. And I know that's silly maybe, but I am like a little child when I receive an extra sample. I find it like a candy, something that I look forward to. I want to try something else. So leaving that aside, I was happy to have received this fragrance because I ordered it for my birthday, which was now two, three weeks ago, I don't know when this video will go live. I was so much looking forward to it. It's a vanilla scent, so it's Orchid K, but it's different. They said that it has sequoia and petit green, vanilla orchid, ambrofix, marshmallow. So I was looking forward to that marshmallow tasty. I was not expecting something like Love Don't Be Shy, not that I mind it. I find Love Don't Be Shy a little too sweet, but I would welcome that scent profile. And when I tasted it, again in my face, <laughs> never learn. Maybe I should spread this. Wind is not blowing. It smells woody, sweet and artificial. I cannot pick up any of the notes, but that's not a good thing. It smells as if you took a bag of marshmallows and a bag of M&Ms or some colorful candies. You put them in a pot, you turn on the gas and you burn it and it smells a little burnt but not in a good way and it smells sweet in an artificial way it smells as if they did not finish this it's very disappointing i wouldn't expect this even from a designer fragrance this doesn't smell classy doesn't smell sexy it's a sweet mess maybe the umbro fix is giving me trouble but i don't like Orchid K from Ella K. It's my biggest disappointment this year from my favorite brand. And of course, when I don't like a fragrance, it will last. 
so it does last it lasts on my skin and it lasts on clothes but the scent it's a sweet mess i would rather have a classy cozy enveloping fragrance instead of this next fragrance is from milano fragrante and it's a quite popular one it's a gourmand so i was completely looking forward to it and expecting that i will like it it's panettone i will have to give credit to the bottle i paid a little over 100 euro swiss francs for it and it has a magnetic cap the only good part about it is the bottle then i was expecting the panettone cake inside i am a panettone connoisseur I eat panettone especially during Easter and Christmas holidays so I was expecting that foodie fragrance also looking at the reviews I was expecting something delicious does it make sense to cover the notes it has some bitter orange some weird herb <laughs> some vanilla carrot seeds no, it doesn't even make sense to go through the notes. It was supposed to smell like a panettone with some dried orange. And what it smells like? It smells like a pretzel. You know that pretzel that has a brownish crust on top? I will try to add a picture or a video. So that pretzel, which is salty, with some basilicum <laughs> or some herbs that are completely the opposite of something sweet and also mixed with some orange also trying to get to the sweet side but only 10% I only get pretzel with basilicum and some aromatic tea and some socks <laughs> I think the sprayer went on my glasses because the wind is blowing as always when I try to film yeah, Panettone by Milano Fragrante is a no-no for me. Do not blind buy it. Don't. And the last fragrance is another popular one. It's from Sospiro. To be honest, there is another blind buy fail <laughs> from Sospiro. Classica and it had a really mean comment on Fragrantica. It said that it smells like fecal, human fecal from the darkest parts of hell. So I was expecting that to be ugly, <laughs> but I found it at 50 Swiss francs, so I purchased that one. It really smells fecal, the worst thing ever. Nothing wrong with this brand, with Sospiro. I have Vibrato, I love Vibrato, and also Opera, which was originally Sospiro. I have the Sospiro version, so the brand is fine, but the fragrance that doesn't work and I find the scent of it unbearable i cannot wear it at all it's bel canto bel canto has sandalwood powdery notes some earthy notes green notes that part really gets on my nerves it's being compared to jazz club from maison margiela and to santal complet from fragrance du bois it's not like santal complet at all Santal Complet, it's smooth, it's so well blended. This smells a little bit like Jazz Club. If you take only the alcoholic part, like there is alcohol spilled on the bar and the wood is soaking wet. And there is also some wet soil in the area. This smells earthy, powdery, greenish, but most of all like wet dust. <laughs> Suspiro Bel Canto is a no-no for me. I had it for a year now, so it's still not working. I have been testing it a lot, giving it chances throughout the seasons. It's still a no. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching, for liking this video, for subscribing. Before I go, I want to leave you with a quote from Nelson Mandela. May your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. Let me know in the comments down below which fragrance was your worst blind buy if you ever blind buy fragrances or also which fragrance did you not like at all. Wear what makes you happy and I can't wait to see you next time.
Bye.